Writing an exam is normal when you go to school. Exams are challenging, but you have to write them to change class. <laughs> Your parents have not done you by sending you to school. It wants to be better for you, but you have to write the exam. You have to sweat to write the exam to come out of that school. So challenges are not problems. They are stepping stone to God's great agenda for your life. Can I hear you, Amen? Yeah. You find a student crying the only exam, he has a problem. In most cases, mental problem. Because you went to school not only to take lecture, you went to school to test whether you understood the lecture or not. And that to be what qualifies to go to the next class. So challenges are not evil. Challenges of life are no evil. They are part and parcel of the package of our adventure. So it's not unspiritual to be challenged, but it's unscriptural to be defeated. So face it. You will never be tempted beyond what you can handle. So let's stop crying. That challenge is within your power to deal with. 1 Corinthians 10, 13. You don't give the exam of a 300 level to a 100 level student. That would be, that would be deadly temptation. It doesn't happen. You write exam at your level. That you fail does not mean that it cannot be passed. Somebody made an A. Then you made an F plus. Because you didn't get ready for it. In this world, we have tribulations, challenges. But cheer up. It's a warm battle. Cheer up. I've overcome your behalf. Now, take heed to what you must do to overcome it. We cannot realize our glorious destiny without overcoming the challenges towards it. You can't carry a world wrestling champion belt without receiving some punches. No, they will hit you here. Some teeth will come out. You go and fix it after the fight. They give you the bed, but not without his car. But you find crying babies. Many, many, many Christian adults are crying babies. Like the song they sang recently. Your baby is crying. <laughs> Adult baby. Crying are challenges. I told one of my daughters singing that song. I said, you are now almost a grandmother. You are saying your baby is crying. <laughs> so what do your baby say? The foetus is crying. <laughs> it's not time to cry. It's time to stand to your feet and dare the challenge. Can I hear your amen? amen? Can you imagine them crying at the Red Sea? They go back to slavery forever. Go forward, you go forward. I'm not a baby. Give tribute to whom tribute is due, and honor to whom one is due. Romans 13 7. All the glory is due to your God. All the honor is due to our God. We can't realize our glorious destiny without giving him all the glory at every stage of our lives. Can I hear you, amen? amen. Your car is granted. Thank God it's not your life that is granted. Amen. amen. Your TV is not working so you can face your business. <laughs> Praise God. God saw that he's cheating on you, so he broke it down. So your life can be straight. 
Praise God. Praise God. It's time to know that we are in a battle. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against flesh and power. We have to fight to win. Can I hear your amen? amen. And one of the weapons for this fight is thanksgiving. As they began to sing and to praise, God took over the battle and gave them victory. Keep giving him the honor. He will show up and give you the victory on the platter of God. Can I hear you? Amen. amen. The word said, enter into his gates with thanksgiving, into his courts with praise. Be thankful to him and bless holy name, and then you are ushered into his presence. And in his presence, his fullness of joy, said that will show me the path of life is available as to assess his presence. And the result is fullness of joy and pleasure, not pressure, forevermore. So you put Psalm 100 and verse, Psalm 100 verse 4 and Psalm 16 11, it shows you the power of thanksgiving in assessing revelations. Murmurers can't get there. Complainers can't get there. Revelation requires a life of thanksgiving for access. Therefore, with joy shall ye draw water from the wells of salvation. Isaiah 12 and verse 3. That's why the joyful and the thankful have free, unimpeded access to revelation. In the midst of their trouble, you find them with a smile. Jesus, there must be a way out. Son, come. Here is the way out. Son, come over. Here is the way out. So you'll be cheating on yourself, carrying long things about. You'll be cheating on your life without access to the path of life that will bail you out of your trouble. 